Holiday prep. If you're thinking about using prep leading up to a pre-planned block of time, where you anticipate your risk of exposure to HIV to be higher, due to an increased number of sexual partners of unknown HIV status, where condoms are not easily or always used, in the presence of substances or alcohol, or perhaps you're traveling or holidaying in an area with a high HIV prevalence, this option is definitely worth considering and is suitable for both anal and vaginal sex. Based on a seven day period or holiday, the instructions are as follows. Seven days daily prep leading up to the period, seven days daily prep during the period, and seven days daily prep after the period. There are a few reasons why we recommend seven days pre and post for holiday prep. Seven days lead in has now been recommended for both anal and vaginal sex. But on a practical note, if you've been planning a holiday or you have a working trip away and on starting prep you experience any mild side effects, even though most people don't experience any side effects, these side effects should have subsided within the first week. We recommend seven days post on holiday prep simply because a lot of people I speak to in my virtual clinic and people in general seem to be more comfortable dealing with this option in week long blocks, even though we know Ypres states dose for only two sex free days. Although these dosing options don't seem to follow any one single rule of thumb, they are all backed up by evidence and study data. Ultimately, the best way to use PrEP is the way that suits you best. If you use any of these four dosing options as directed, your protection from HIV is almost 100%. That is holiday PrEP, and that is the four ways to dose on 